In this video we will talk about, the importance of female clitoral orgasm. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel to be notified when we upload new videos daily. The clitoris is located just by the vaginal entrance and behind the labia minora. In most women, it is a small nub of flesh which contains a high concentration of nerve endings which make it highly sensitive. It is often covered by a clitoral hood. Many people don't realize that only a small portion of the clitoris is actually visible. The remainder of the organ is surrounded by the rest of the reproductive system and extends all the way to the bottom of the pubic bone. Two things are particularly interesting about the clitoris. First, all female mammals have a clitoris. This is interesting because the sole purpose, at least according to biologists, of the clitoris is sexual pleasure. That would seem to mean that humans aren't the only ones who enjoy the way sex feels. Second, the clitoris is made from the same material as the penis. In fact, in men the clitoris becomes a full-fledged penis after the embryo is exposed to testosterone in the womb. Just like the penis, the clitoris fills with blood and becomes erect during sexual arousal. The clitoral hood is essentially the same as the foreskin of a penis. Second, the clitoris is made from the same material as the penis. In fact, in men the clitoris becomes a full-fledged penis after the embryo is exposed to testosterone in the womb. Just like the penis, the clitoris fills with blood and becomes erect during sexual arousal. The clitoral hood is essentially the same as the foreskin of a penis. What many people don't realize about the clitoris is that the penis alone usually cannot stimulate it. Because of its position in the woman's body, the ability of the penis to provide rhythmic stimulation to the clitoris is extremely difficult. That means traditional intercourse usually needs to be coupled with clitoral stimulation. What many people don't realize about the clitoris is that the penis alone usually cannot stimulate it. Because of its position in the woman's body, the ability of the penis to provide rhythmic stimulation to the clitoris is extremely difficult. That means traditional intercourse usually needs to be coupled with clitoral stimulation. The question is how does one engage in clitoral stimulation? Some male partners take the approach that the women should be responsible for the stimulation themselves, which has always seemed a bit unfair to me since the woman is providing him with the stimulation he needs to reach orgasm. However, this is one way to deal with it. Other couples I've met with have resorted to an alternative approach. One person reaches orgasm at a time. Depending on how each person best reaches orgasm, this may be a possibility but it's usually not the most satisfactory approach. Another method is by, what I like to call multitasking. Multitasking basically means the man does more than one thing at the same time. For example, he may be penetrating the vagina while also stimulating the clitoris in one way or another, we'll discuss those ways a little later. If the couple wants to achieve orgasm at or near the same time, this is clearly the best option. The best thing about clitoral orgasms is that they can be achieved in many different ways. Because the entire area is highly sensitive, experimenting with these types of orgasms can also add some interest and spice to sexual relationships which may have become less enthusiastic over time. And the key is experimenting because different women prefer different types of clitoral stimulation. While some prefer direct stimulation, others find it uncomfortable and prefer to have the area around the clitoris stimulated instead. Women who have masturbated will generally have a much better idea of what type of stimulation they prefer than women who have not. As I mentioned, the clitoris fills up with blood and becomes erect like a penis. This means it's usually easier to spot when a woman is aroused. Because the clitoris does not need to be erect for sexual intercourse to occur, clitoral orgasms will only happen if the woman is aroused properly. That means some type of foreplay is generally a requirement. When the clitoris is stimulated repeatedly, it becomes more engorged with blood and this further heightens its sensitivity. With stimulation a point is reached when all of the tension in the area must be released and this point is considered the orgasm. I hope you found some useful information and tips. I look forward to hearing from you. Warning. 
None of the information on our videos is a substitute for a diagnosis and treatment by your health professional.